Hello and welcome. I'm Nafo42 and in this video I'm going to be adding this power adapter to the Raspberry Pi on this printer in a brand new enclosure, this one, so that the whole unit is contained in its own little enclosure. Let's go. Okay, just to show you guys quickly inside the enclosure, here is what it's like. So we have up here the light switch and all that kind of stuff which goes across to the big light on a panel. That goes down to a USB that is unplugged. Uh, we have here a fan that has a cable that's connected by a little plug here that comes along, goes into this little thing, uh, which is the power jumper, taking it down to from 24 volts down to uh, 12 for the fan. Um, and then it, that goes down here into this little jumper box which um, takes the power from the power supply which goes into this board uh, and splits it off so that some of it goes to the fan, some of it goes to this board. Um, and there's two lots of power that goes to this board, one of them for the actual main board to heat the bed uh, and some of it to the actual board itself. It's presumably split so that it doesn't overload the board when it comes to power, which is one thing that was an issue with some of the other printers of this type. So first off, what we want to do is we want to remove the plugs from this part here. We can unscrew this from the uh, printer and uh, yeah, just remove that and then add it into the new enclosure. So let's do that. As you can see, we have the cable coming out of the power swapper, um, or the power converter, out into this, into the Raspberry Pi, and then the power lines coming from the uh, from the power swapper are going out the bottom. These will need to connect to the other two on the actual printer itself, uh, and then this won't need any external power. It won't need a USB plug plugged in uh, onto a socket or anything like that it will just be all powered by the 3d printer itself uh, and I believe it does uh, or it should definitely have the amp needed to be able to support this and the little fan that I've got connected as well so I've screwed these in as well these are just uh, m2 screws uh, and little bolts that come out the back end um, I can't screw the board down because this isn't the board that this case was made to go on but it does fit within the enclosure, like this, as you can see, uh, which is great. Uh, so what I was considering doing is just sticking a cable tie around the uh, around this. Now the cable tie is not really going to do much because I mean it's not a moving part, but it might help secure it into its position to stop it from causing any other damage. Uh, so I just get these put in now. Now I just need to plug these cables into this part. I'll try and neaten it up a little bit and then we'll come back after that. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got this all connected up. The cable coming down from here into the printer. 
we have this cable that comes in from underneath here, goes through the board on the back bit with the wire that comes down. It goes through this big jungle of cable into the little chock block, I think it's called, at the bottom. Um, and this cable also is within this nice little jungle of cables, but it's kind of neat, neatly uh, tangled, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I'm just going to stick it back in the enclosure, plug it in, and hope for the best. Okay, so now I've plugged it all back in. We have the cable at the back over here that's connected to the uh, the fan, the plug for this, uh, uh, the light has been plugged back in. Oh, the cable over there, if you can see it, that's the cable for the fan. Uh, yeah, so that's all plugged back in. Let's move this thing out of the way. Uh, now we just need to switch, switch the power on and hope that we don't see uh, any kind of black smoke, white smoke, any sort of smoke. So, we switch the power. A pretty ballsy move actually, because I turned... <laughs> I turned the printer on and connected all this stuff up without actually first testing any of it whatsoever. Okay, all right, so after that super long boot up sequence, oh, it's restarted. Ah. Okay, yeah, so it seems to be on. Let's test the power for this thing. Here we go. We've got power on here, which means that the Raspberry Pi is powered. You can actually see as well on the Raspberry Pi that there is a red light in there, meaning that it has uh, connected to the card on board. Um, I need to check the camera and everything else on there just to make sure this will work in, but hopefully um, I'll check online shortly and it should all be working. Now, I don't like the placement of this box. I'll probably, in my off time, try and, uh, well, probably when I get some spare time, disconnect this box, unplug it all. Um, place it up against the side of the enclosure here and then drill some holes through the plastic so I can make my own mount points because this is just not, it's just not good. <laughs> the two, the, the four mount points that came with this 3D printed part just did not fit. Um, I did put two screws in it. There's a screw in it here and up here. Uh, you can't really see them on, on the camera. But yeah, they are there. Uh, and they just hold the front on but it's a very easy to get into box. You don't have to have them on really. Uh, it does kind of hold the, the face on by itself. It kind of clicks in. Um, but yeah, other than that, really cool. I'm looking forward to printing with this. And uh, yeah, from now, there is only one cable that goes into the enclosure. And that is this power cable over here. Oh, it doesn't want to find that, does it? Um, but yeah, other than that, that's this. This is great. Um, <laughs> let me know if you guys uh, have any questions about this or have any questions about how to do this i've just pretty much shown you it all anyway but yeah there we go um let me know if you've done it already um and send send some pictures if you can of your own ones and see how how they um it would be cool to see how other people have done this as well um i really like the simplicity of having it all contained in one unit it's not caught fire yet there's no smoke of death um so that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, apart from that, let me know if you think follow me with that's at Nafia42, and thanks for watching. Okay, so to append uh, onto what I said earlier in this video, if I had read the manual, I would have known that the mount points are the right bolt on the left screw rod facing towards the front of the printer, and one of the middle screw holes that is uh, pre-drilled. Would recommend doing it this way as it's much safer and more secure. That is all. Catch you later.